Wait a minute. Part 6? Sir Young, I thought you said the Han of Wood for Beginner series has ended. Folks, this is a continuation from the series, not of the series. This is not Hanafuda for beginners anymore. This is Hanafuda Advanced. In this new series, we will be introducing various games with different gameplay elements, which will come in handy once we start learning how to play Hachi Hachi. Now, I already mentioned that Nintendo Hanafuda decks have a leaflet for Hachi Hachi. I also told you that it's bad and that the actual Hachi Hachi game is complicated, but what exactly is Hachi Hachi? Well, to put it simply, Hachi Hachi is THE Hanafuda game of the 20th century. If you don't know how to play Hachi Hachi, then you don't understand what true Hanafuda gaming is. All those other Hanafuda games are just dumbed-down versions of Hachi Hachi. They're all bakapana. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I guess that's why the most popular Hanafuda game today is Koi Koi. Anyway, Despite how complicated the game was, it is worthwhile to learn how to play the game since it was indeed the most popular hand for the game of the early to mid 20th century. But we will not go there just yet. Don't worry, I will teach you how to play Hachi Hachi eventually, but we will be going there step by step. And as you may have already read in the title, this video counts as three steps. So without further ado, Let's look at the first game, shall we? Fuke. Actually, I'm cheating here a bit because this is not considered as a game in and of itself. It's actually a sub-rule that is applied to Hana Awase. Please check this video first if you don't know how to play Hana Awase. However, you can pretty much apply it to most Hana for the games were applicable. And there are variations of this rule that appear in different Hanafuda games which we will encounter in the future. Anyway, the name of the rule is called Fuke, which literally means dandruff in Japanese. And you will get the metaphor once I explain the rule to you. Basically, if your card score during a round is 20 points or lower, then the round ends in the draw, and nobody scores any points during the round. So in other words, Fuke gives players with an extremely poor score a fighting chance by preventing the opponents from scoring. Think of it as like a blue shell in Mario Kart, if you know that game, except it hits all opponents instead of just the leader. So that is how the Fuke rule is applied in Hana Awase. Commonly, the effect of this rule is to make the round end in the draw, but sometimes it is used as a sort of yaku which is worth points. Also, some play such that it counts only if you declared to aim for Fuke before the dealer begins their first turn. Oh, and while we were on the topic of Hana Aose subrules, there is another subrule which is similar to Fuke. It's called Oya Naka Hacho Biki Jucho, which means dealer middle player 8 cards, last player 10 cards. Rolls right off the tongue. Just like Fuke, this rule gives poor scoring players a fighting chance, this time by not making the round a draw, but by giving the poor scoring player compensation. If the dealer or the player to the right of the dealer has only 8 cards or less on their capture pile, then that player receives 30 points from each of the other two players. The same happens if the player to the dealer's left has 10 cards or less on their capture pile. The compensation is added to the player's Yaku score. All other scoring calculations proceed as normal. Anyway, I've digressed for long enough. Let's see the next game. Isoku Yuki Isoku Yuki literally means one bunch going in Japanese. The rules of the game is mostly the same as in two-player bakapana using the same standard card points. But there are some changes. First, the goal of the game is to reach 100 points, which also ends the game. And considering how much points you can get per round in a 2-player Bakapana game, most games will end in about 2 or 3 rounds. Second, the number of cards dealt to the hand and on the field are the same as in Koi Koi. 
8 to the hand and 8 to the field, meaning that at the end of the round, there will be cards left on the field and on the draw pile. These are considered dead cards and will not be used during scoring. Third, tallying the scores is always cumulative, not zero-sum. However, unlike typical Hanafu the games, counting the points is dynamic, meaning players are keeping track of their scores as the round is going on. And as soon as a player reaches 100 points, the game ends immediately. No need to run out of cards in hand. However, if this method is too hard for you, you may also choose to play such that the scores are counted at the end of each round. Note that in this method, if both players reach 100 points, the player with the higher score wins the game. Fourth, the dealer for the next round is always the other player, regardless of the scores during your round. And fifth, this game has one yaku, not quite teyaku, not quite dekyaku, so let's just call it special yaku. The name of this yaku is Detchoko. I don't know what it means. Don't ask. The rules for this yaku are quite complex and could be considered as a sub-rule of itself rather than a yaku. But let's get to it. First, you have to have three cards of the same suit dealt to your hand. You must declare it by exposing those three cards to the other player. In other words, place the three cards on the table face up near you. They technically belong to your hand, so the opponent cannot capture them. Next, you must capture the remaining card of the same suit during the round. As soon as you do that, you take 20 points from your opponent. But there's a catch. You cannot play any of the three exposed cards until the fourth card appears on the field. If you do, the Yaku is void. Even if you place the card on the field, and you draw a card and it happens to be the fourth card, it does not count. And that was Isoku Yuki. To be honest, I only showed you this game simply because of its Yaku, which will show up again in Hachi Hachi. Moving on. Yokohama Bana. Okay, a little sidetrack. Hachi Hachi was also known as Yokohama Bana due to the game originating from Yokohama City in the Kanto region in Japan. However, the game we will be discussing today is not Hachi Hachi, although it may have been a simplification of that game. The game is a variant of the three-player Hana Awase, using standard card points. However, it has its own set of Yaku, which comes in three types, Te Yaku, Deki Yaku, and Special Yaku. But before we discuss the Yaku, I also want to mention that the scores tallied in the game are counted in terms of victories, which can be cumulative or zero-sum. Basically, in cumulative, victories are simply tallied, while in zero-sum, you are paid victories by each of the other two players if you win a round. You may play as many rounds as you like. The same number of cards dealt in three-player Han Awase are also used here. After dealing the cards, players check if they have a Teyaku. If they have, they must expose the relevant cards to avail the Teyaku points, which will be added during the counting of card scores. There are two sets of Teyaku, those that are based on junks, and those that are based on cards of the same suit. If you have a junk-based Teyaku, you must expose all the junks. If you have a meld-based Teyaku, then you must expose the cards relevant to the Teyaku. All the Teyaku in the same category are mutually exclusive from each other, so you can only stack two Yaku at once. Anyway, here are the Teyaku. Junk Teyaku. For the purposes of these Teyaku, all Willow cards count as Junk cards. Reds. A hand that consists of only ribbons and junks. 20 points. Despite the name, all ribbon cards are counted, regardless of its color. One card Yaku, a hand that consists of six junks and one non-junk. There are three types. One ribbon, 20 points. 
One animal, 20 points. And one bright, 30 points. Empty hand. A hand that consists of only junks, 40 points. Meld Steyaku. Triplet. If your hand has three cards of the same month, 20 points. Sticky. If your hand has three pairs of matching cards, 40 points. Four of a kind. If your hand has four cards of the same month, 50 points. A triplet and two pairs, 50 points. The gameplay is the same as in Hana Awase, except if you reform a deck Yaku, the round ends immediately and you win two or four victories depending on the deck Yaku. There are only three deck Yaku. Three red ribbons with writing, two victories. Three purple ribbons, two victories. Four dry brights, four victories. If no deck Yaku was formed during the round, then the round ends once all players run out of cards in their hand, like in Hana Awase. Before the card scores are counted, players must check if a special Yaku is formed. If so, then the card scores are no longer counted. There are two special Yaku. Fuke. See, I told you this rule would come back. And anyway, your card score must be 15 points or less. Two victories. 14 junks. As the name suggests, you must have 14 junks in your capture pile. Just like in Teyaku, all willow cards are considered junk cards here. Four victories. If a special Yaku was not formed, then players proceed to count their card scores. The player score is equal to the card score plus twice their Teyaku points minus their opponent's Teyaku points. The player with the highest score wins one victory. In any case, the winner of the round becomes the dealer for the next round. And that was Yokohama Bana. Wow! Only one step more, and then after that, we will learn about Hachi Hachi. So to sum up what we learned today, Teyaku and Dekiyaku are not the only Yaku used in Hanafuda games. There exist Yaku that don't quite fit those categories, and they are called the Special Yaku. And of course, Fuke is a sub-rule slash Special Yaku that is used to give poor scoring players a fighting chance. For the next video, we will be looking at a Hanafuda game played in the Hokkaido region in Japan. That's it for now and I'll see you next time!